man, I feel just like a rock star. Hey everyone, welcome back to the NASCAR Thunder 2002 PS2 Career Mode Season 2. Let's play, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, about to do race 10 to 12. Three races left of the season. I'm going to Richmond National Raceway in Richmond, Virginia for the running of the Chevrolet Monte Carlo 400. Last race was at Darlington, and that could have gone a little bit better. I still finished in the top 10, but turns 3 and 4, I was so inconsistent on. I sucked at it. That's why I... I could have probably finished better than where I did at Darlington. But now we go into Richmond. Don't know how I'm going to do here, to be honest with you. It's 20 laps. Um, we'll just see. Um, I'm, it's unknown for me right now. So let's go check out the point things before we go into the race. So I am sitting 8th in points. 345 points back. Uh, Kevin Harvick is 52 points ahead. Jeff Gordon, Rusty Wallace is 77 points back. Um, I feel I can get up to 7th in points, but that's just about it, because between 6th and 7th, uh, you got 146 with Dale Jarrett, then 338 with Tony Stewart, so, no way I'm gonna get up to 6th or higher than that, so it looks like I could get up to 7th, but that'd just be about it. So anyways, uh, let's get on into the race at Richmond. Well, first, I gotta qualify. And see where I'll start. In the turn number three right now, first lap was a 22.69, 41st right now. The second lap should be way better. And it is, and it's pole position, 2104. How about that? Pole position, I'll definitely take it for sure. I believe that's my second pole of the season. Don't remember. But anyways, uh, let's just get on into the race here at Richmond and see what happens. Coming off turn number four to complete the first lap. Who's going to lead the first lap? And it's me. No, it's Casey Atwood. I could have sworn I led that lap, but whatever. I I was just about to say, I, I thought Casey Atwood was going to lead the first lap, which he did, but I had such a huge run coming off turn number four. And I could thought I led that lap, but it's not. Oh, come on. I barely touched Casey Atwood. Oh, there's no way. I'm crossing the line before Casey Atwood, man. That's... T what? I mean, I'm crossing the start-finish line ahead of Casey Atwood, and he's somehow leading the laps. Alright, whatever. Oh, man. He just gets that run down the straightaway. My car handles good. I need to find a way to get around Casey Atwood. Well, that's not a good example of a good handling car. Just me driving down all the way down on the apron. Okay, Casey Atwood is starting to pull away from me, which I don't like that. Let's see if I can stay with them. Oh, wow. Oh yeah. Oh, I finally got around him. Nice. And I'm I'm going to lead this lap for sure. Okay. So now that I'm leading the race, let's see if I can actually pull away. I feel like I can run really well here, guys. And uh, get my second win of the season. I felt like Darlington... I mean... Here's the thing. Turns 3 and 4 at Darlington. I sucked at it. I was inconsistent there. So I, I'll take some blame for that one. I could have probably maybe finished top 5, top 3 there. Don't know about the win, but... Oh my god, I almost hit that wall. How embarrassing would that be? If I just hit that wall. Alright, so I'm halfway on fuel. Get off the apron, Joseph! Idiot! Oh my god, it slows you down. But my car seems to handle fine. I'm liking the handling on this car. 
which will probably lead me the victory if I have a good pit stop too. I need a good pit stop in this race as well. Oh my god, Joseph. I mean, me driving down on the apron is my fault. That's why I'm like, oh, come on, Joseph. It's not the car on that. I don't drive down in the apron this time. But this is this is going well. Jeff Gordon is trying to get around Casey Atwood. Seven tenths, ten laps to go here at Richmond. Jeff Gordon still trying to pass Casey Atwood. And he does. Alright, I'm gonna pit this time by. I could have hit that wall. I almost... Oh, wait. What am I doing? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, I'm fine with the adjustments. Let's have a 16.3 sec pit stop. And let's not have a second and a half slower pit stop like we did at, uh... At what, uh... Darlington? That was bad. So, here we go. Pit stop here. I've kept the car clean, which is good. Oh, come on, guys. And 16 second pit stop. Good. Now we'll just wait on these guys to pit. Which will happen eventually. Oh, God. They were coming down pit. Oh, my God. What is going on here? Oh, God. Oh, what? I thought that 57 was going to pit. I should get up to the outside lane just in case these guys do pit. And when are they going to pit? That's my concern now. Okay, they're pitting now. Yeah, I'm going to stay up to the outside lane. Oh, man, it's going to be a huge stack up on pit row with that many cars. Holy crap. Oh, yeah, look at the map. They are stacking up big time. And that leader is getting stacked up pretty much, too. It seemed like everybody came down pit row that lap. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to gain a lot of positions here. Yep, up to 13th. Still weighing on the last set of cars to pit. Here he comes. Here comes Casey Atwood down pit road. Yep, five laps to go. Alright, I'm in third, which is good. Yeah, I mean, look how many cars I'm putting a lap down now because they got so trapped on pit road. They're second. Yeah, I, I just... Wow, I just passed Casey Atwood, and he was just at the end of pit road. So, that means I'm going to have a pretty good lead. We'll see how big of a lead. I don't even know if he'll show up on the interval. We'll see. Yeah, I have a big lead. That's crazy. With three laps to go. But I've done a good job in this race, guys. I mean, I've kept the car clean. I don't think I've ever had my car this clean ever. In any race. And I would not I would not expect to have a clean race car here at Richmond. A short track? Oh, yeah, that's just crazy. So this was a very clean race, which I like it. Kyle Petty is back on pit road. All right, final lap here at Richmond. Trying to get my second win of the season, my fourth win in the career. This was just a good, good race for me. A very clean race. Here we come off to number four. I'm going to get the win here at Richmond International Raceway. Second win of the season and fourth career win. I'll take it. Nice.
and by 5.4 seconds ahead of Jeff Gordon. Earnings got 108,000 out of it, almost to a million dollars, up to 978,000 now. Okay, wow, interesting top 10. I mean, you got Casey Atwood, which I already knew he was up there, but you got Mike McLaughlin, uh, Sawyer, you got Kenny Wallace, the Alpern. Interesting top 10 for sure. So I should move up to 7th in points now because I didn't see Tony Stewart in there in that top 10. Which is going to be good for me. Let's see. Yep, up to 7th in points. I'm 283 back now. And yeah, that was my second win of the season. Oh, that was my third poll of the season. That was my second poll. Miscounting on those. So, okay. Not bad. Up to 7th in points. And uh, Jeff Gordon is now the new points leader by 23 points over Kevin Harvick with two races left of the season. Dale Nart Jr. 3rd in points, 76 back. Now Rusty Wallace dropped to 4th in points, 91 back. Yeah, I, there's no way I'm going to get up to... Si I mean, I mean it could, I'm not saying it is impossible, but it's just, just going to be a stretch to get up to 6. But yeah, with two races left, Jeff Gordon leading the points. How about that? Okay, so guys, next race, it's going to be... I forgot what's the second to the last race. Oh, Martinsville. Oh, man, Martinsville. Old Dominion 500. Martinsville might be a mess for sure. And that, that race is not going to be a clean race. That is for sure. Um, and then, of course, it's Talladega, the final race. But anyways, guys, I will see you at Martinsville Speedway.